So hello everybody, it is Monday, so it's time for another Power Query video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can extract values from a column with an if condition without adding a new column. So let me show you in an example what I mean. Let's get started. Okay, so here's my column. I have uh, on line one, you see I have hashtag host and, and the line, and then I have some words. What I would like to have is extract this word from here and then keep the other ones. Okay, and if you try to extract this with the, I'm going to use the add column, add column extract, and then text between the limiters. Let me show you what happens. So you put the hashtag and then you put the line. What it does, it extracts, extracts the words where it finds those elements, but the other ones, it just leaves them blank. So in order to do this, we need to use an if statement of any kind. So we could say if text contains mean, then extract this, otherwise leave that. And then you can do that with you using an if statement on an add new column. Works beautifully. The issue with that is that we have to basically delete afterwards the columns. And I would like to put things into just one step because it makes, I believe, the code more readable when you have less steps. And especially when you're grouping what, the thing that you want to do into just one step. Is my opinion anyhow. So let me show you how I would do this. I'm going to delete this and I am going to do exactly the same thing but instead of add column I'm going to use in the same column use the extract function because we're going to have our query help us write in the code as we always do. So put hashtag put the line and then it's going to get rid of our thing. So this didn't work, right? But now is where we're going to embed the if statement in this step. It's actually very easy. So we go here and says if text con I'm not going to tab because I it's just going to kill contains and then we put our column text. So if it contains the word mean, that's what you saw that it was common. For your example, it might be something else. Then do this, extract the value. Otherwise, else is called in Power Query. Then keep whatever is in there. So instead of giving us blank after the extract, we want to actually get the value back. And if we do that, we're going to get an error. <laughs> I probably we cannot apply field access to the type text. 12 seconds later, later, a few moments later, moments later, more moments later, 20 minutes later. Oh, <laughs> I get it. So what is mean, right? So you are not filling the col the columns, you are filling the rows. So you say if text contains for for each row, if text contains mean, then text between the limiters, otherwise whatever text is in there, and then you have everything done in one step, which is actually quite cool. Yep, this is the tip for today. I hope you enjoyed it. You can do this everywhere everywhere really so if you want to do if statements most of the time you can embed them in the, the steps that are already in the user interface so give it a go okay i will see you again on wednesday we're going to crack that misleading chart that we were talking about it's actually quite fascinating the story behind that so make sure you don't miss it but until then as always take care have a nice week and i'll see you on wednesday bye bye